Well today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be doing a shootout with all my own personal amplifiers. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube, and this video is going to be a lot of fun because we're finally going to be putting all of my own personal amplifiers up against one another, toe to toe, head to head, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to see which ones sound good and which ones sound, you know, bad I guess. <laughs> Before we get into all the amplifiers and all the tones, first off, if you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come hang out with me on our channel. If you feel compelled at any point in time to hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. But most importantly, you longtime viewers and subscribers, thank you for always coming back, holding it down, hanging out with me here on this channel. I love you guys so much. Now, let's talk about my amplifiers and how today's video is going to work. So this video has seven amplifiers and they are as follows. My Mark V 25 from Mesa Boogie, my Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, two EVH heads, a 6L650 watt and an E. 3450 watt um, let's see what else we got here we got a Jim Root Dark Terror mini head we have my DC3 combo amp and I think I think that's it <laughs> oh yeah an orange rocker verb right there forgot about that one and that's all my amps so today's video is actually really simple. All I'm going to be doing is playing one of my own personal riffs tuned to drop B using my Jim Root Strat with the red paint on it, the white one. And then basically I'm just going to be playing a couple bars of a song and then it's just going to be automatically switching back and forth uh, between the different amplifiers. I've already pre-recorded this and so basically I just have it all lined up in a Logic project. And I'm just going to be doing a quick playthrough and showcasing all the different amplifiers. And basically I dialed in all the amps kind of just like to my own personal you know takes in terms of you know like the settings and stuff because you know all these amplifiers have a lot of different you know parameters and a lot of different you know bells and whistles so basically rather than trying to dial everything to sound the same I'm just gonna dial it into what I you know like and what I what I would use it for and how I would use it you know what I mean so all these amplifiers are going into the universal audio ox box as well as the DC3 I just took out the um, speaker in the combo amp and I just put the speaker uh, jack into my universal audio ox box so it's just completely not using the built-in speaker it's just using the amplifier all right I hope that makes sense and lastly as a control measure I'm using a Fortin hex drive to boost all these amplifiers I think it's kind of silly as metal players to like show non boosted and boosted most of the time we use a, an overdrive or a boost pedal of some of some sort right so like rather than just like showing non boosted tones I'm just gonna show you what it sounds like and honestly too the Fortin hex drive just sounds so sick so like why not use it you know what I mean like I love this thing so so much. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna reset up here. I'm gonna do the playthrough, and then we're gonna hop into the Logic Project, and I'm gonna talk about the certain, um, you know, uh, things that I like and don't like about each individual amplifier. All right. So with that all being said, let's get to some tones.
All right, so as you can see up on the screen, I have all the amplifiers that you just heard in the shootout. And basically, I'm just going to toggle back and forth and just solo them and, you know, let you guys just see them on the doll, on the on the grid, if you will, just in real time. And uh, let's just check them out, all right? So first one, we'll just start with the Mark V 25 and then kind of go down the order. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just check them out. So really crunchy sound, but not a lot of low in there at all. And that's the one thing that's kind of consistent with, you know, mini amplifiers in general. But I'm going to go to the end of the riff here and then listen to how it transitions into the 606, man. Just the EVH just sounds so good, man. So those two right there are obviously my two favorites, the dual rectifier and the 606 50 watt head. Now, going down the line here, listen to my EL34 again. I, I've, I've said it a million times, my EL34 is, is broken. Currently um, <laughs> not in working condition. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it certainly needs to go to the doctor. So just listen to the difference between a dual rectifier and the EL34. Yeah, so it's broken. Uh, I, I threw it in, in the video just for the sake of, you know, it being here in the studio. But at the same time, it's it's not in any working condition at all. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with it, but it's kind of funny. What's really disappointing, though, is the Rockerverb sounds probably the worst out of my big amplifiers. It just, it's a little, little, um, how do I put this? Um, tame, not as um, in your face, not as, uh, not as much aggression. So very mid-rangey. I think that's kind of the nature of uh, rocker verbs and orange amps in general. But as you notice here, I don't have any EQ at all on, on the bus nor on the individual tracks, just so you guys know. So these are all pretty much just raw tones. But just listen between the dual rectifier and the rocker verb. And listen to the rocket verb versus the EVH 606. So just again, those two amplifiers, the 606 and the dual rectifier, just sound so good, man. They're just they're my two favorites, honestly. And then the last two here, the Jim Root Terror, similar to the Mark V 25, not bad, but again, it's a mini amplifier, um, not going to have a lot of oomph behind it. And then the DC3, it's just like a, a fun little thing. I just um, ran the amplifier in the, uh, the combo section and just ran it into the um, aux box.
very underrated amplifier, the DC3. I want to get one day, you know, as a bucket list, get a DC, um, DC10 amplifier head. I think that'd be really cool. But those are just all the amplifiers, just kind of, you know, more in depth than me just speaking on them and not just like playing all through them in a playthrough. Um, so yeah, man, hope you guys dug it. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking that out. So everyone, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day once again to come hang out with me. If you're brand new to my channel, you want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. A huge shout out to all my patrons. I love you guys for always supporting the channel and holding it down here with me. I love you guys so much. I'm out of here, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.